okay then so tonight you're joining me at the Hado House Hotel and Spa not sure if I said that right but this is formerly a Mercure Hotel so it's an independent now let's go and have a look so yeah I've just checked in it's made to look like a castle This is a four star hotel. Wow. Look at that. It's all coats of arms over there. Wow. It's a really nice big pattern of a deer there. And there's a main entrance. Let's have a look what's in here. So this is what we get tonight. So not a bad room actually. So straight away we walk into like a closet area. We've got a few hangers there. They are the normal steel ones. Which is it's quite a nice space this. Um, this carpet is a little dated but not too bad. This is a very nice room though. Look at that. So we've got a super king size bed tonight. I'm not sure if it's the zip and link or not. I've got loads of cushions on the bed and while these look lovely I know these aren't going to be washed so I'm going to take them off in a minute but styling and first impressions this is really nice so we've got a big TV, bag stand, desk as you can see and it's all tastefully decorated I've also got plug sockets either side of the bed which is something most hotels forget about and we've got this weird little chaise long chair it's really good isn't it so pretty impressed with this place some of the rooms actually have balconies uh, going outside with the looks of it so yeah pretty good so decent desk area you now you do get free wi-fi at this hotel uh, and there's also a leisure club and pool as well so that's free but looking around it's very nicely decorated right then what else have we got so we've got a nice little tea and coffee station here with a bottle owner, it looks like there was something in there once upon a time. I've got a little mini bar with water and milk in it. That's really good to see that they're keeping the milk in the fridge. And there's a little hair dryer down there too. This is nice. We've got a safe as well and an ironing board. And then best of all, I've got a kettle here. It's an unusual one, I've not seen that one before. So is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. Wanna work out how you get in it? And yes it is, it's spotless. Brilliant, that's just what I wanted to see. I'll have a brew later. We've got green tea, we've got normal tea. Nice cafe and it's all individually arranged, really good to see. Shortbread and better still cups facing right way around so they're not gonna be covered in dust. Yeah, ticking all the boxes to start with this. So nice decent sized room. We have got electric heating in here as well Right then onto the bathroom. So the only thing I've noticed with this is this door handle the covers come off and it's really stiff So the door handle stays down there. It's just a minor issue which I will tell them about But look at it. So nice big really modern bathroom this um, Straight away I can see you've got a nice big sink. There's all these complimentary soaps by the walled garden not heard of them before but it's nice all the right same and then this big mirror with light on it looks really good so we have got a rainfall shower tonight and you know you're in a decent hotel when 
this is on the wall next to you. So you don't have to get wet to try the shower. So let's have a look and see what it's like. So I think it's just a push button one, yeah, so that's really good. So you turn it to your temperature. It's getting warm, so that's good. And then we've also got the other one there, so we want to just swap it and just push the button and that comes out as well. <laughs> it's really good. I'm, I really am a fan of these. Yes, that's red hot. Oh my God, that's roasted. Okay, so, brilliant. Nice, massive wall. Um, double shower there. That's got a bit of a step up to it. Oh, yeah, I can't mourn at this. Nice fluffy towels. This room has cost £82 tonight. But I have seen this place as low as 60 on a Goda. So yeah, check that out yourselves. Right, let's go and have a little walk around because this place is massive. Unfortunately, this room is miles away from anything else. So come along with me. Okay, so if you want to help me out, guys, please don't forget to comment and subscribe to this video. It'll really help me out. So still some champagne outside the room. A previous guest. I do believe it's still cleaning, though. Okay, so I sped this bit up. These corridors are massive. I am so far away from reception at this point. I really like though this carpet was all patterned to the hotel. So you can tell it's quality carpet all the way along. It's like a, a deer pattern. Uh, it does look really good. And everything's nicely decorated around it. So again, I sped this bit up three times the speed. I literally am miles away from reception. I'm so far away. Just down here, there's a nice big function room. So I just want to show you now. Wow, look at this for a sweet. This is massive. It's obviously, used for weddings. Wow, how big. It's even bigger that way as well. Oh, just that building over there. There's a swimming pool, sauna, steam room, jacuzzi, the lot. It's absolutely massive. So the grounds of this place are humongous. So I believe this hotel actually shut down a couple of years ago, went bust. It was under the Mercure brand, but now it's an independent. It's a, it's a big hotel. So it's quite a few people in the pool, so I'm not going to film that. But in there, it's a really big one. So they're doing a bit of work here, new fences. There's loads of parking here. There's also a golf club over the road. Although it's currently shut. So this is that conference and banking suite I've just been in. This hotel is not that far from Aberdeen itself. You're about 10 minutes by car. Uh, you can tell the majority of people that are going to be staying here are leisure guests. And they do a few spa days and things like that. So this grounds are actually setting at 30 acres. So that's 30 acres of greenery. <laughs> so this is the main building just coming up here. So it really does look like a castle. Wow, what a place. So over here you've got your private gardens and, and lawn area. It is massive. It's that big, it's actually got a whole staff accommodation block. It's over there in the distance. It is unbelievable. Guys. 
So I really do like this place. Looking around at all this uh, architecture and uh, furniture inside the building looks really grand. Um, now I do believe this one's made to look a bit older than it actually is. But even so, you know, it's, it's a nice old place this. So I really do love looking around these old hotels. Um, just imagine how grand this would have been back in the day. Yeah, such a nice place. I'll definitely be back here. So just look how nice this stained glass window is. You don't see them like this anymore, do you? It's really nice. This is the main restaurant where breakfast is as well. Nice. Wow. Look at that. It's a big space. So obviously this is the end of the whole bit. Okay, so you actually join me now in a different room. So I've changed room because this hotel accepts dogs. So, uh, you know, I'm no problem with dogs, but the room really did have a pet odor. It actually smelled like wet dog. So yeah, I weren't prepared to sleep with that. So just went down and asked them for a different room. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, they're giving me this one. So it turns out that one was a pet friendly room. So. If you stay in here, make sure you ask for one that isn't a pet friendly. But same room really, not a lot of difference. Uh, wardrobes are slightly different, but it's all clean, nice big bed. Yeah, right, join in the morning. Right then guys, so it's next day now. And yeah, I slept really well in this bed. However, uh, it is a zip and link, so I just slept in the middle. You can't just always roll into the middle. Oh well. So I didn't have any food here last night, uh, the food's quite expensive, so I'll show you a sample of the room service menu, which is the same as the bar menu. So you can have room service, but they put a £5 tray charge on, which is, it is what it is. So uh, for fish and chips, 17 quid, and then Thai green curries, 18 quid, I thought, quite expensive for what it is. Uh, Usually in hotels, you're looking about 15. So time you put a drink on top of that, you're into it for about 25 quid. Didn't fancy it. So I went for a local Chinese and uh, yeah, really good. Decent, happy days. So just a shower, shower's been mega. So although I changed rooms last night because of the dog smell, I definitely stay here again. This is bang on. Right, so I thought I'd show you the free breakfast that was included. I've not seen this for a while. Herring was actually included on the breakfast. I mean, it's not something I'd like, but, you know, you don't see that every day. do like how they've got all the teas as well. Um, yeah, overall, really good quality breakfast. Um, definitely, definitely uh, try this one again. Right then, so that's it for this one. If you've not subscribed already, guys, please do so. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Until the next one.